Okay, bring a trailer community. I'm gonna try to walk around this car and show my trusty alcometer paint meter that I've been using for a very long time. As noted in my previous video, I think the majority of this car has been painted on at some point or time. Uh, but let's just go around and so you can see the actual numbers. Obviously I can't meter the plastic parts, the bumper areas. So we'll start with the hood. Let's see, I've never done this with the video before. So there's a 10. And if you're not familiar with these tools, they're kind of cool. You basically can see what happens here. This little polished tip, uh, there we go, will send a signal like a submarine through the coating, bounce off the metal, come back, and of course it measures the time it takes, and that's how it knows how thick it is. You know, a lot of cars, like there's a 20, so there's that's, that's like creeping up there with, a, that's like at least two repaints, if you will, 15, a little less. So like the original paint coating on a Bentley is, you know, gosh, it's pretty wide and varied. 10, you know, 10, ooh, there's a little dent there I didn't see earlier. See that? Uh, let's see if I can get that. Here we go. There's a little ding. 10, 11, you know, that, on this particular car, that, that might be factory thickness. Typically, Bentleys are thick. You can, I can go over to the Mercedes over there, any one of those Mercedes and the Ferrari and uh, Deborah's RS6 that we bought on Bring a Trailer that she loves. And there'll be four and a half to five factory coatings. Here's an eight. That might be more indicative of five and a half. So there you go. There's that dent I tried to show in a couple other videos. There we go. It's sad that, you know, my very expensive camera doesn't do as good a job as the cell phone camera. So six and eight. Six and a half. I think the on this particular car, you know, this is a value-rated opportunity for someone who wants to drive a, a $200,000 plus car when it was new uh, with 50,000 miles on it for pennies on the dollar. And, you know, the cool thing about the Flying Spur is it really doesn't look that much different. You pull up in a 2017 versus this 2007, and, you know, John Q. Public is going to be hard-pressed to be able to tell the difference. This is pretty consistent here. That's like, a, you know, five or six mils is like somebody sanded it down, painted it, clear-coated it. So you can kind of tell. This is really tough to discover what's what on this car. You know, when you look inside the door jam, you know, we, as car guys, we always look for that set the meter down here. You know, look for like a sharp edge where there's a paint line. And if you can't feel or see a sharp edge, then you go in and look deeper. You know, you look behind this rubber to see if there's any paint. There's a line in there if they cut it all the way in here. But, you know, if I meter the inside of this door jam, seven. See, I would, for Bentley, I would call that totally factory thickness. Six and a half. You know, so there's no telltale signs. I mean, they've, they've done a really good job if they painted this quarter panel. And I'm really trying to see. I mean, there's no sharp edge whatsoever. These cameras are great, aren't they? I just don't see anything. And if it is, it's, it's a 50,000 mile car that's a whole lot less than it was new. Uh, open the trunk up here. The books kind of got messed up when I lifted the lid, but you know, same story. Looking in here, you know, there's just nothing. No sharp edge to catch your finger. And I can meter down in here. 
ten and a half, nine. So I, I'm going to call this, you know, that seven to ten is factory. Anytime we see a seven or a ten, I'm going to call it factory coating. A little thinner underneath here, three. You know, it gets so carried away because it's not exposed to the elements. So let's look at this panel here. It's a real nice view of the texture of the paint. This is 11 and a half. Sorry about that. 11 and a half. 15. 13, sir. 11. Now we call this factory. It's a little easier to do the German cars because everybody kind of knows the consistencies a little better than with uh, Bentley, Rolls-Royce, and Aston. They run a little bit jinky, if you will. I kind of like the way that's playing out. I, I just think that you know, the hood, as I noted in my other video, I can see a little difference in color. Is that, I don't think that's metal, it's plastic, yeah. There's a difference in color between these two panels. It's very slight. No one, I've never had anybody pick up on it that saw the car. But I would say that this has probably got paint on it. And I'd say the bumper, for sure, has been painted. You can see it's a little difference from there to there. You know, 17 and a half, they might have blended the clear up into this fender. 14, 10, 11, 9, 9 and a half, 9 and a half. There's that dent. You see my old century boat in the background there. Here's the other. There's another aspect of this door panel, if you can see it or not, but you see how. It's like this part of the door, uh, it's a little better. There's like a line here. If you really study this, you can feel it with your finger. See that little wrinkle there, like an inch in? It doesn't jump out at you, but it's certainly there as well as this. This is kind of the ugliest dent that's on the car. Still, the paint's not chipped. And as I said before, you know, please, you know, no haters. I'm just, I'm just trying to be like super critical. Like you always say, gosh, I wish I could have someone go over and look at that car before I bid on it. I'm just trying to be that critical person as a seller that you might find that counter uh, productive. But at this stage of my career in life, um, to me, it's a fun, inexpensive, um, cool car to drive around for the money. And I'm not trying to present it to be something that it's not. And I want someone to be happy with it. It's not like I'm going to make a pile of money on it. I might even lose money on it. Let's see here. Five and a half. Eighteen. Six and a half. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. Six and a half. Seven. I didn't, I got to retake it here, let's see, seven, I wonder where I got that 18 from, that was weird, just wasn't happy, yeah, I thought that was kind of a surprise, seven, you know, the wood on this car is just so nice, I mean, usually you can find like a little, a hairline crack here or something like that, the wood is just beautiful. But that's basically it. Um, it's got paintwork. It matches reasonably well. Nothing jumps out at you. There's nothing crazy. I know the bumpers are both painted. And it's got some dings in it. And uh, it is what it is. Good luck to y'all. 
Scott Ailes signing out.